Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to host multiple websites in Windows environment. I'm using a Windows Server 2016 and I have installed a web server or IIS in this machine. I also have set up a DNS and previously I have also set up the default website. I will open Internet Explorer and then open the default website. The name of my domain is adatum.com and this page is showing the current content of the default website. The file that was loaded is located in the C drive in inet pub and then www root and iis start is the file that is being loaded here. I'm going to host two additional websites in this web server. First, I will create their folders and contents for those two websites. The folder for the first site would be site one. And the folder for the second site would be site two. I will copy this file into site one and then edit site one and then I will access that website by using site one dot atom dot com I will save and close also, I will copy that file in site 2 and edit this file and then I will access this site by using site2.editum.com. I will close and save. Next, I will open IIS or Internet Information Services from the Tools menu of the Server Manager. I will expand the server and then go to Sites and I can see the default website here. I will add two more sites by right clicking on the sites and then add website. I will name the first site as Site1. And in the physical path, I will point to the folder that I have created for site one. Inet pub, www root, and site one, and OK. I can host multiple websites in two different ways. In the first approach, I can keep the same URL, such as www.adatum.com, but each website will use a different port number. In that case, the users need to know and type the port number in the address bar of a browser. And that could be very inconvenient. The second approach is to use different IP addresses for different sites and access them by using different URL. Each site will use the default port number and thus the user will not need to know the port number for each site. The users will need to know the site URL. I will use that IP address technique. So for site one, I'm going to use an IP address 172.16.0.11. The default website is 172.16.0.10. So for site one, I'm going to use 0.11. So I'll press OK. And for site two, I will add site name is site two. And then for the physical path, I will point to site2 folder. inet pub, www root, and then site2 folder. Press OK. In the binding for IP address, I will use 172.16.0.12. And keep the port number as the default and press OK. Now each of the website's folders were created and their different IP addresses were set. 
but these IPs don't yet exist and I need networkers and set up these IPs. So I will close this window and shut down this machine and then add two virtual networkers and set up their IP after restarting. So I'm going to shut down this machine. I have added additional networkers and the server is rebooted. Next, I'm going to configure the IP addresses for the added network cards. As a reminder, I will go to the IIS manager and then show you the IP addresses that I have set for the two additional websites. Site 1, 172.16.0.11 and Site 2, 172.16.0.12. So I go to the local server and then select one of the network cards. And I will set up these two network cards with those IPs. So I'll go to the properties and use a static IP 16.0.11. And for the DNS, I will use the IP 172.16 dot zero dot ten the dns was configured on this ip so i will press ok and then ok again similarly i set up the second network card one seven two sixteen dot zero dot twelve and set up the dns one seven two sixteen dot zero dot ten and press ok and ok again i will close this window and check the ip address update i will go to another menu and then come back so the ip addresses have been updated now if i go to the ias manager first i will open the first site with its ip address 172 dot 16 dot 0 dot 11 that shows site 1 I will open another tab and then type the IP address of the second site 172 dot 16 dot 0 dot 12 and the, showing the second site in order to make these sites accessible with their URL I need to add records in the DNS server so I will go to the tools menu and then select DNS, expand for a lookup zone and then expand the domain. Here I will create a new host record. Right click and then new host. I want the first site as site one and the FQDN becomes site1.adatum.com. I will map this FQDN with the IP address 172.16.0.11 and then click on add host and click on OK. Next I will add the other host site2 and the FQDN becomes site2.editum.com and IP address should be bound to 172.16.0.11. 0.12. So click on add host and then done. As the DNS records have been added, I should be able to access those sites by using their respective URLs. So I will go back to Internet Explorer, go to site one and then type in site one dot atom.com and I can see that the site was loaded. Similarly, for the second site, I will close this tab and open again to make sure that it is loading from the DNS record. So I will type site2.editum.com and site2 was loaded. Also, I will open the default website in a new tab that was www.adatum.com and this is the default website. 
Now I'll show you what happens if I type site1 at the end of this URL. So I'll type site1 and then press enter and you can see the site1 content was loaded. And the reason site1 content was loaded under the default website is because of the folder structure I used. So if I look at the folder structure, then you can see that in C drive, I need pub, www root, and this is the default sites folder. And site1 is within the default sites folder. That's why when I add the folder name with the default site, it loads the content from site one. This can create problem because one site can be accessed from another site. So each website should be put in a different folder. So I will move the default site to a different folder. And then move their files to that folder. Now any of these sites folder is not within another site. Now I need to update the location of the default site as I have moved the files. So I will go to the IIS manager and then open the default website and then select basic settings and update the physical path. Instead of www root, I will add default after www root. So I will put a backslash and then default and then press OK. Now I have to restart this site or I can restart the whole server. I will restart the whole server. Then I go to the web browser and refresh the sites. Second one, refresh and the default one. I'll remove the site one and then press enter. Now default loaded. If I add site one at the end, that will not show the content because that folder doesn't exist inside the default sites folder. Okay, so I can access different websites hosted in the same web server. And that is the end of this video. I hope the video was helpful. If you would like to receive notifications on future videos, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and set up notifications by tapping on the bell. Thank you for watching.